Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. Today is a Friday, May the 30th, 2014. I bring you greetings. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How wonderful it is to receive a greetings from Jesus and give that greetings to everyone throughout this day. Let me invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 23. Today let us focus in on verse 15. It is about Pharisees and teachers of the law. Jesus saying, you travel land and sea to find a convert. But once a person receives your teaching, you make him double the double the son of hell as you are. You heap more burden on that person rather than relieve the burden. It is not only really about the teachers of the law of that time, but it could be true about us Christians too. We send missionaries all over the world. We go, a lot of Christians go as short-term missionaries but brothers and sisters, once a person welcomes Jesus as his or, his or her Lord and Savior, do we add burdens to them that they have to follow our instruction, our customs and practices, or do we encourage them to grow in Christ personally and collectively? Each culture has its own traditions. Should we put down their traditions when we welcome a person into our Christian tradition? Or would, could we encourage them to keep on growing in their love for Christ within their tradition? And thereby, they can be a phenomenal blessing to others in their traditions. Throughout this day, let us praise God for all the missionaries who are working around the world to present the good news of Jesus Christ to everyone. Let us pray that they be inspired, excited, and, and lifted up by the Holy Spirit, that they would share Jesus Christ with, with everyone through their life as well as through their words. And when a person welcomes Jesus as their Lord and Savior, how wonderful it is, the joy in heaven. Let that joy be here upon earth also. Jesus is the most marvelous gift God has given to us, humanity. When we receive him, when we accept his free gift of forgiveness, cleansing by his blood, we are restored into our relationship with God and thereby relationship with one another. Let us rejoice in that, O oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this day. Let us grow in our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Let's talk with him, listen to him, receive his instructions for our daily life and obey him. And thereby, let his spirit go forth from us in his delight, in his joy. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for giving yourself to us. Oh, precious Lord, enable us to receive you into every aspect of our life. Teach us to be partner with you in living here upon earth and living eternally. Oh, Holy Spirit, continue to inspire us to live in gratitude thanksgiving joy for the gift of salvation, gift of eternity, gift of forgiveness Jesus has gained for us. Oh, precious Lord Jesus Christ, continue to live within us, leading us forward according to your plan for your eternal kingdom. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen.